My brother, unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would, for that is our curse. you look like? Oh. Wonder if that's a wonder if that was our friend I murked. Maybe he was a mound maker, so Hmm. Uh yeah, Oni Slayer is pretty rad. It has some hyper armor. These things used to be incredibly fucking good back in the day. I remember that much. Reviled, I believe. Not maybe it's not as much as the washing pole, but I could be wrong. So Typical katana moveset. Basic R1s, basic R2s. Very similar to what you've seen me use since, you know, Demon Souls. Paired moveset's pretty rad. Oni Slayer, your uh, attack on Titan. Your AO10 killer, I believe. Uh, leap forward and slash mercis uh, mercilessly. With both blades cutting open bows. Yeah, AO10s, that's that's what they're fucking called. Um Crystal Cattle is presented as a gift by the Crystal Sages to their favourite pupil Krimheld. Krimhild. Crystal spheres devour the will of the user. And this stuff increases the potency of sorceries at the cost of increased FP consumption for skills. I mean if actually casting spells. Steady Chant. Um, boost the strength of sorceries for a very short time. Um, basically what you do is you have this in your offhand. Um, you buff... You, d you double hand the old court one. The old court... Yeah. The court sorcerer staff. Buff with that. Then you... Buff this in your offhand. And the court sorcerer gets the buff from this without having the penalty of taking more FP. Yeah. I've never fucking bothered, because why? Very impractical, but you'll do a lot, that's for sure. And then, hey, look, a DS2 reference. Really fucking neat. A blue knight's shield engraved with a gold, golden wing crest. This shield is exceptional amongst the enchanted blue shields. Not only does it boast high magic absorption, but also enables its wielder to parry spells. Spell parry. Um, yeah, you've seen what that does. Actually, let's equip it. Oh. Actually, you know what? Hold on. So, yeah. That's the shield moveset, by the way. Works better with the pierce shield. Looks really cool, though. I I have it on one of my characters. One of my in builds. Um, the one with the Moonlight Greatsword. Looks really fucking neat. Um, can't really show you the stuff, though. Also, we can finally get some fucking armor I've been after the whole game. Alright, let's see. I'm not going to have enough for the armor otherwise, I think, so let's have a look. Alright. Two armor sets we can buy. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's give this. Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. And awfully warm at that. Almost as if it had lived mere moments ago. Oh. Forgive an old woman's idle prate. I'm sure an ashen one such as thee would never indulge such base contrivances. <laughs> yeah, so that's the dialogue of um, if you murk someone, they'll leave ashes behind, and you can buy what was in their inventory at the point of death. So now everything Grey Rat had is in her inventory, plus a few other little bits and pieces. I think it includes the Divine and Hidden Blessing. Um, namely, 
splintering and exploding bolts. Um, makes unusual shots possible and release splinters that cause immense bleeding. So they'll just kind of dis they'll kind of split up. Um, kind of like kind of like the blunderbuss, not quite the same though. These are, after all, prototypes created by weapon craftsman Edmund. You get what you pay for. Exploding vaults, very good for PvP. Due to the risk of detonation, the amount of bolts you can carry is greatly limited. Only to 30. It's also because they're really fucking good. So, deals fire damage in the immediate vicinity of impact. Yep, they're prototypes, you get what you pay for. Um, this is what I've been thinking of all game, given I'm playing as a dex build. A tire of the hunters known as the Black Hands, well, the King's Black Hands. This wide-brimmed hat is emblematic of the role. Black Hand was a title established to honor hunters who served successive kings. To date, no more than three such individuals have borne this distinction. Uh, it's, it's, it says hunters and it has borne. Yeah, you get <laughs> uh, No, it's not a Bloodborne reference, surprisingly. And yeah, the rest of the set's here now. This is what I was thinking of the entire game for this build, specifically that armor piece. That said, Helm named after a god of war. No, it's not Kratos, surprisingly. You'd see, uh, you know, flaming skulls and um, 420 and pot leaves if it was. Um, the armor of, oh sorry, that was old Kratos. This one's, a, you know, a dad in a AAA Western title. So, you know, he's um, more subdued. The armor of the Feroza Lion Knights was preserved even after, after the destruction of their homeland and is mentioned in numerous legends alongside the names of those who are said to have gone beyond death. Yeah, your marketing line from Dark Souls 2. Really fucking cool armor. I like this set a lot. Um, let's just back up for one sec. So yeah, I was thinking of this the whole time given I thought initially before the flambeau showed up in my life I'd go like a bit more of an archer type build, but no. So it's pretty cool. Sora cosplay. Um, where is it? Actually, where is the evangelist hat actually? That is weird. It's not that heavy. Ah, oh, there. That's more for Zoro, I guess, because it's got you got your little mask. Ah, oh, where is it? Alva. Alva goes with everything. This is um, one of the many troops in this world. Not the best for poise, but boy does it fucking look cool. Especially if you get something like the Black Bow of Aris. Yeah. I really fucking dig this armor a lot. Um, this is going to be enough of standing and talking. We'll get back to the, get back to the action, so to speak. Oh, yeah, Elvis Hell. Welcome, I'll speak. Yep, Very let's grab one more level. Now I know what I've bought. One more health. Alright. Uh, well. uh, we can buy the rest of the set. But I should make headway on um, Orbeck. Back at cover. Hey, don't you fucking dare. Yeah, yeah. Damn straight. Leave my boy alone. Leave my man alone. Alright, so we only need 25. Oh. 25,000. Half of a level. <laughs> okay, neat, neat. Very cool. Oh yeah, we can burn one of these, can't we? Um, so no, I don't expect to be using Onikiri and Ubadachi in this playthrough. Um, so they can get out. I can't do this, sir, can't I? This whip, I, I fucking love so much. It's so cool. Alright, so... This is no different. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I, I, yeah. Dark sword. So, yeah, if I didn't have the ring, wouldn't get that fire effect. It's really fucking cool, this whip. It's just a shame it's locked to the uh, very end of the game. So, as you can see, 195. Oh, sorry, 193, I meant to say, my bad. Pretty good. It's a bit of a shame the whips don't have any strength scaling, so anything you put in is just totally fucking worthless. Yet, it's still better to start Pyro or, um, 
what am I doing? It's better to start pyro or knight regardless, unless you're actually going to luck build, which, as a pyro, I don't know why you'd do. But, yeah, whatever. Unless you're going like a full on poison build, which I can understand, but then you're not really a pyromancer, are you? Alright, sorry, that was a bit of talking. Whew. Lovely. Yeah, I'll farm up that armor later on. And, you know, unless I have spare souls. We're about to get a bunch, actually, so that works out quite nicely. Any friends? No? Okay. Bit of a shame. I kind of expected more invaders. I mean, I'm only level 92. Hmm. I know the 38 dex is probably triggering some people rather significantly, but... Don't worry, that's about to change. Alright, so up ahead. Lofrik Summer. Sorry. Lofrik Chen. And Lorien Summer. Um, very Demon Souls. Not doing that just yet. We're going this way. I'll go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Berserk. I get it. I get it. Now, just excuse me one second while I go use my fucking Bailet. Tell me why. Tell me what you say. Man hanging over in a very interesting position. Little shot cut down if you want to take it, but... Yeah, you kind of need Silver Cat for it. Alright. Time for some fucking badasses. Give me a sec. Golden Winged Knights. Cute fucking Bayonetta music. I'm still gonna play Bayo. I've gotta find time, and by find time I mean not play Dark Souls. Do something else. Been waiting for you for a long time, man. Hunter's Ring. Engraved with the portrait of a hunter increases decks. The hunter served Lothric on the fringes. In uh, sorry, on the fringes and in the shadows. For generations, rulers of Lothric have relied especially upon the Black Hand Hunters to punish enemies in the ways that the King's Three Pillars cannot, such as improper formatting of text. Alright, so unfortunately we're going to lose my little smoke puff. But now we have sweet, sweet 40 decks. So let's just have a look at the uh, damage difference. Give you, giving us 16? Not as much as unfortunately. It's a shame. I like that ring a lot. It served us very well during our um, time as a lighter build in Cathedral and such. Alright, here we go. Hey buddy. Now, very similar to what we've fought earlier in terms of twin action. That was weird. I've been having some control with base shenanigans occurring. It's kind of annoying. This thing's fully charged, basically. Or very charged. Yep. How about you don't do that? So, they incorporate the flying into their moveset, which is pretty rad. Yeah, finally! I didn't actually farm them after all that, but... Yeah, that's the spin. Man, if only we could get fucking gold versions of the weapons, you know, to use, that'd be sick. Yeah, I'm thinking just like same stats, but even then, like, like make it heavier if you want. I don't know. Probably wouldn't make sense for him to be any heavier, but So that uh that, that hunter ring helping quite a bit already. As you can see. I need twenty. Damn. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I will say it um nineteen or twenty strength, depending. Paired the heading axes wielded by the winged knights who swore themselves to be angels. Not these guys, they're fakes. These axes, more befitting of an executioner than a knight, are intended to fit the human body. Chainspin. Um, so what do you expect? Sweet foes and a large, sweep, uh, large spinning motion, and use strong attacks to continue, continue the motion until you're out of stamina. So yeah, it's the uh, guillotine axe from Demon Souls. I mean, I knew it, but seeing it again up close made me go, oh yeah, it is. 
this is what Morelda uses. Actually, here we go. Won't really be needing FP, so. But yeah, cool moveset. He's a really cool. If you want to mix it up, you can wear two sets of these. It's um, not really worth it, but it's pretty cool. Meanwhile. Yeah. So, I can't remember off the top of my head. Also, how much are we gaining? Only two points. Fuck that. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, unlike the Wing Knight Halberd, where at 40 strength... Uh, sorry, 40 endurance. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Griffith, etc. Um, at 40 endurance with... Have, oh, sorry. With Ring of Favor plus three... Um, 14 FP will provide a full combo on the Wing Knight Halberd. I can't remember how it works with the Twin Axe. But I think it's about that threshold. I would hazard a guess. Also, yeah, for some reason, I'm having a lot of... A, a much easier time at backstabbing these dudes. Normally, they're not quite this easy. They still have the, uh... The effect, though, of... Their... Handle counting as a hitbox. The, the deals the same damage. So we've got three of these, and yeah, I kind of sandbagged it, but last one. Neat. Silver Cat. Now, when I've been invaded, I've made a tactical decision as a coward to get up here. There's some really cool videos. Um, who was it? I think it was Fell. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it was Fel, who made a video here called The Spider Trap. I will describe said video in a sec. It's a really neat vid. If I remember, I'll fucking link it in the description. It's awesome. Doesn't really work how they intend, but it's really cool. Miracle of Gertrude, the Heavenly Daughter, brings down multiple pillars of divine light in the vicinity. The Queen's Holy Maiden, Gertrude, was visited by an angel. Who revealed this tale to her. Despite losing both her sight and her voice, she was determined to record the tale. Ordinary men cannot decipher her fragmentary scroll, scroll nor comprehend how it became the foundation of the angelic faith of Lothric. You do that. Um, so angels. Um, there's angels in the DLC. Um, the pilgrim butterflies. It could, however, be a reference to calf. Um, given some shit that was cut. So, I believe in the video I'm referencing. Um, they hid down there. Um, using the obscuring ring, um, in the shadow set for peak blackness. <laughs> for peak darkness, I should say. Woof. Oh, I'm not woolly. I don't have impasse pre premium, unfortunately. No, no, I'm not cutting this. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, and they'd use um, soul string, and uh, it would work sometimes. It'd knock him the fuck down if it hit. It was great. It was a really cool vid. Uh, most people didn't get hit by it from memory, but still, really innovative invasion techniques. So yeah, there's nothing up here really. Um, there's that ladder which we'll go to in a sec. It's back down there. You can totally... Where is it? Um, yeah, on this little wooden bit here you can land. It's a good hiding spot. I um, hung out here with my thief build. With my strength thief. It was pretty handy actually. Um, I was invaded and I hung around here. Waiting to jump from the rafters, but they never showed up. So it was kind of a waste. But yeah. I'm feeling the need to clarify the end pass premium joke, but I feel like I've said enough in this channel to make it apparent that I don't condone, you know, frivolous use of certain words. I'm just making a reference to Woolies channel. Let's keep it at that. Be cool. Be cool, people. Unless it's those cloud runners or fucking cloud runners. 
bloody dinosaur planet. Alright, so that's that. Um, probably easier to just head back to the bonfire. For it to run my ass off. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this is about how I expected it would go. Hour and a half, or hour and five. Expecting it to be at least an hour and a half. Hmm. Yeah, this is about right. Yeah, I grabbed everything on the roof. I've got the one SSR to give. There's the gauntlet up ahead, which you can totally run through. Again, something that probably would have been fixed in Sekiro, because they would have had a fog wolf forcing you to fight a mini boss. Man, it is crazy, but like, it's not like the more I think of it, because I already knew, but Sekiro does really fix a lot of problems these games have. You don't need a boss in the way to be, a, you know, to have a fog wall. Just fucking slap a mini boss there. It really does fix that. And it also ensures people actually understand the mechanics before they progress too far. I know, I like, I know I'm definitely selling myself short in, um, stuff like Sekiro and Metal Gear Rising, but... Yeah, there are moments where it's just like, it feels like I didn't learn properly and I got passed through bullshit. Even though, well, I'm up to that bit in Sekiro still. I mean, I haven't bothered playing it for a while, but I made it that far, so that kind of proves I understand the game enough. And I did make it to Monsoon and Rising, so obviously I learned about it. And it's the kind of thing where it's like, if I went back, I'd probably not struggle as much on Blade which is weird, I know, because I should fucking crush Blade Wolf, but alas. Yeah, so these guys have their cool, uh, their, um, well, normal armor, before it gets all fucked up. Hey, fuckers. Aim that way. I took care of that. Alright. Yeah? I got 40 decks. Not quite 50, but it's enough to knock you on your ass. You can't cheese me with your bullshit hyper armor out of nowhere. You ain't got shit. Meanwhile, you. And a cool sweep we don't get unless we're using the partisan code. You've got no chance, in all honesty. He's having the part right fuck up. You never need to hit the heavy attack. I just do it because I'm so used to, you know, other weapon arts. Alright, let's heal up. So yeah, not very tough. So far, at least. Really cool, though. So we have one, two, and three. Come on, buddy. The worst thing that could happen is they all decide to fight us. Get it. Alright, come on you. Big boy's kind of confused. See, this is where you put the fog wall just past him. You'd make a little more of a choke point. And you just have a fog wall in between. Oh no, you fucking don't. You have the part where you do it, you can't actually stop it. See, that's all I really had to do in Lockwood Castle, but I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. So yeah, there we go. I'm um, speaking of uh, Calf. Supposedly, something was meant to happen in the old version of this game. The older version. So, there's a bit of a darker area around there, right? I think from further back, well, from further back, it definitely looks more like, more like a hole. And supposedly, what was meant to happen, which is, um, I don't think this bit's ever been corroborated. Um, yeah, if we ran all the way back, it looked like a hole. But apparently, after the boss fight, or towards the end, Framp would fly in, because the serpents have wings, apparently. And it'd be like, fight me, fucker. So, um, yeah. That was the thing. I know I definitely mentioned in part 21, Let's Dance. You know, they have Vogue records, how original. Um, that there was meant to be more time of day, um, effects. 
And what was meant to happen? More akin to, I get, yeah, it was definitely more akin to what they did in Sekiro, actually. And all the serpents, the primordial serpents, were meant to be flying around in the sky. And even though the effect was unfinished, it still looked really fucking cool. Um, so I guess, yeah, that tied into Framp coming into the arena and be like, no, fight me, fucker. And, okay. You have a life bar. I saw. I've never bothered hitting you in DS1. Maybe I should. Oh yeah, and we're back here. So that's neat. Back to the Red Tearstone and Kaifa's Chime. Dragon Slayer Armor's Air, so that's the bonfire you go for. Cool. And yeah, there was a lift down here all along. It's the one that wouldn't activate for some dumb reason. Visions of happiness? Impossible. And there's a bottomless pit down here. Kind of annoying because I'm going to have to wait for the... For the, uh, for the lift when I get it back up there, but yeah. Again, I don't know why they didn't just, you know, texture a floor. Make a lot more sense. Oh well. Alright. Grab a level. Grab all the spells. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I don't really need the level as much. I should have enough. That's nothing. Yeah. I mean, I know I should have enough. But, you know, just making sure. Promise to stay oh, safe. Oh, sorry. It's been nice running our own little school. Oh. In Vinheim, I was an assassin. A sorcerer only in name. A killer for hire. What a fool I was, thinking one day I would learn real sorceries. When I became undead, I was exiled from the school. But here I am, now. Exploring the depths of sorcery. All thanks to you, I might add. You are no ordinary man. All these sorceries, and you've mastered every one. If this were the Dragon School, you'd be... Well, overtly despised and banished from the place. Well, I suppose it's time I pack my bags. I would hate to see our agreement end sourly. Better left, tucked away. It's a pleasant memory. You are no ordinary. If well, well, I would hate better left. Promise to stay safe. It's been nice running our own little school. I really like Vorbeck's voice acting, actually. Sorry I ran off without realizing. I should have realized that was happening, well, actually. But the dumbness kicks in sometimes. Yeah, more health's better. Alright. Um. Oh, let's buy some armor. I might have to reload for Orbeck to properly leave. It's the only issue. So if I do that, I'm gonna cut. Let's just grab. I mean, the farm set's the only thing really to grab. Yeah, I grab this and this. I was just a little shy of being able to grab that, that, and that. Ashley. The helmet, the gloves, and the, uh, the boots. All really cool. I, I really fucking love the Faram set. Out of all the, um, box art armor sets, it's probably the one I like the most. Because, what, that's, um, hey, finally, fuck yeah, didn't even try. Um, it's the Astora set. I'm not counting Demon Souls, but I like, I like the Fluted Armor set quite a bit. The Astora set I really fucking liked, but not as much nowadays for some reason. The Faram set I love, and I barely get to use the, um, the Firelink set because I never really get this far into the game. So here's Arena. In a rather festive place. I'm gonna have to be careful not to hit her on the way down. Oh. Sweet champion of Ash, let souls be your strength. So there's no difference with leveling up, but 
Yeah, so this is the fate she is resigned to now. Kind of sad, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's what she wanted, or if it's just like, oh, you know, Kareem wants this of me, so I have to, but... If she's happy, she's happy, but I don't... Uh, I don't know. Bittersweet ending. Especially given we found um, Egon, you know, having done what definitely didn't need to have been done. Vowist. But, you know... Mm. Also, in case you haven't figured it out, I figured out a way to ensure we, uh, we reload for Orbeck to leave. Assuming I don't nail this. Kind of funny I'm waiting this long to get it. That's the way. Yeah. Perfect. That is ideal. If only I had leather. Please tell me this isn't an innuendo. Man, the message is in the way. Yeah, so there we go. Not too different to the ones that had the Eyes of the Firekeeper, so I don't know. In fact, it's the same as this this one, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, let's have a look. I don't have the mask because that's in the DLC. Well, we've got to reload anyway. Fantastic. Rome... Uh, sorry. War, robe worn by the Guardian of the Shrine. The Firekeepers were robbed of light. To better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherish the writhing, searing darkness were given the Keeper's black attire. It's a pretty cool set. Let's slap it on. Just cause. Um, I'm pretty sure anyone still watching this has played the game. Unless you're like one of my mates who's actually checking this out in that case. Thank you. Yeah. Really cool. And you got the little feet wrappings. Really neat. Uh, definitely good for a caster. That's how I'd, uh, that's generally what I'd wear it for. Break blood. Nah, man. Mourns. It's definitely what I'd prefer to use it for. We do have this now, actually. Fuck it. For those who've gone beyond death, huh? Let's play something a little lighter. Should be doing this off camera. Because I've got to fucking reload the area anyway. Not poisy, not as poisy, but still pretty cool. Probably wear better pants. I know no one probably enjoys this fashion shit. Hmm. This is where a co pilot would be awesome. Someone just talking random inane shit in the background while I work out my fashion. There we go. Very cool. Looking very fly. For a Faram guy. Alright, so sadly we gotta reset anyway. Um, nothing to really do elsewhere. Think of it. Let's just do this. Alright, I'm gonna cut for time most likely. But if I don't, yeah, there's a reason I guess. Mm. So Patches is gone, I'm not going to bother showing it. Orbeck should now be gone, but Grey Rat is definitely gone. Yep, all sorted. So his summon sign will be near Twin Princes. Yuri is here, her and Cornex are doomed forever to be here, with nothing to ever do. And it is kind of weird, I, I didn't mention this I'm pretty sure, but I've, um, thanks to the cloud saves, a while back, a few months ago, I s checked out what happened if you actually tried to fight Carla. And she doesn't do anything. So that's quite sad. Cornix at least puts up a fight. I didn't bother fighting him because I know that's what... Oh shit. He has a shard flask. Because um, I know he actually will try to fight you. And it's kind of trollish. Because it's the only way to get a, a second pyro flame. Um, not counting for one from the uh, DLC or the Demon Scar. That's uh, that's kind of lame. But uh, yeah, right. This is faster. Oh fuck you. I'm cutting this. 
Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Yeah, so they fucked up with the neck, by the way. Pretty sure it's the same. Oh, wrong thing. Fucking touch bar. In fact, it's the same with Tarkus's. I don't think I showed it off properly, but where is it? This game shows a lot of neck for some reason. It's odd. Anyway. Up we go. Yeah, for arm set's fucking cool. I love this set so much. Did I mention I love it? Because I love it. Right. Um, Lorien and Lothric. Well, Lorien first, then both of them together. Um, let's just put this on. So we don't need him, but Orbeck will totally help us. So he has gloves on. Oh yeah, he has the old sorcerer gloves on. Different. Yeah. Our clandestine coat we will get once, uh, well once this boss fight's done. It's a really nice piece of fashion. Alright, so we don't need Slumbering Dragon Press because it's not going to help us at all. That's only going to give us like a tiny bit of power, so no use. Uh, t t what's the most useful? Because I'm not going to be using Boulder Heave. So what should we use? Probably this. We'll just downgrade. Cool. Ah. Death Breath using a Claymore... And for Crest Shield in the Fallen Knight armor, Soot Blood with the Black Veil. Um, that's our uh, what's it called? The uh, the fucking uh, Half Light's armor. She's got a sword, probably some magic, I imagine. Someone who's been taken. And Sirius is here. We'll be able to get her armor after the fact, too. Alright. Now, you're gonna notice something weird when we start this cutscene. I will after the cutscene. For, for whatever reason, it teleports you into the middle of a room. That's not the weird part. The weird part is it puts you into the state of coming out of a roll. So you'll see your character flip. It's really fucking weird. That's Lothric up here. The dude we've been after this entire time. Won't help link the fire, so we got no choice. Alright. Let's do this. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of lords, let it all fade into nothing. Quite enough. Now have your rest. Yep, there we go. Oh, well, this bodes well. So, Lorien here decided to be a cool big brother and try to link in place of Lothric. This is what happened to him. Gonna be nice and careful. He got fucked up big time. This dude is also a, a fucking huge badass. Because the reason his sword is continuously embered is because he fucking nerfed a demon super hard with it. I shouldn't be trading with him. As you can see, we're doing pretty good damage though. So yeah, Laurie's a fucking cool guy. It's sad what happened to him. There we go. Oh, dear brother, I'm on my way. My brother. Unyielding 
the sword of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would, for that is our curse. Wrong pyromancy. So the objective is to now hit Lothric. Um, taking down Lorien will just cause uh, Lothric to revive him over and over, which is basically going to happen anyway, because a lot of the time you'll end up hitting Loth uh, Lorien anyway. Like so. Oh. Too late. I was gonna ember up my sword myself. You know, be fanatic and all that. So here we go. That was weird. Let's back up. Let's give him some space. So yeah, does a Wrath of the Gods style effect. So you've seen most of the moveset. Uh, the thing I wanted to talk about briefly was the fact that all oh, this looks really cool too. That hurts a lot. Yeah, so if you just keep strafing, these things actually won't hit you. It's actually really well balanced. Um, you will have to roll depending on the way Laurie, well, Lorien swings, though. Um, but the thing is, the Gwyndolin that was being eaten by Aldrich is actually just using this model of Lothric. That, that stab always gets me, because I end up unintentionally panic rolling into it or away from it, so it nails me. Um, so it is kind of fitting that he's casting a soul mass himself. What the fuck happened there? Ruined the moment and got fucking launched. <laughs> ah, beautiful. So that's that. Somewhat of an anti-climax after what you've been through. Dr. Freeman. Eh, let's have a read. Wrong direction, what am I doing? Soul of the Twin Princes. One of the twi twisted souls, steeped in strength. Acquire lots of souls, or make something um, that extracts its true strength. I was going to do something fancy, but fuck it. Extract its true strength. They were rejected, oh sorry, they rejected their duty to become Lords of Cinder, and settled down far, far away, to watch the fire fade from a distance. A curse that makes their souls nearly inseparable. So yeah, um, maybe my understanding of Lorien's incorrect. I'm not saying that because of the soul. Um, oh, actually, well, while we're here, fuck it. Let's just, let's just head down this way. Um, I'm just, there's always just this little bit of doubt. You know, you've got to take every, everything with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah. Um... I don't think it's... It's not specifically stated he fought the Demon Prince in the DLC. But he fucked up a demon big time, Lorien. Um, but he's been super crippled for a while. So it is kind of sad, like... That's the fight. You're fighting... Um, well, I'm, I'm saying it politely, at least. You're fighting two people who are just totally... buggered. Um, one's always been frailed and shrivel- uh, frail and shriveled. Um, the other can't even walk and presumably speak properly. Yeah, and they have to help each other. It's sad, but... Well, needed your souls. Needed your cinders. 
If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return to cinders. So see, I was right, totally. Uh, the Lothric bloodline was obsessed with creating a worthy heir, and when this proved impossible, resorted to unspeakable means. Suffice it, it to say, the path to linking the fire is a cursed one indeed. Well, given you have Osiris doing his shit, yeah, a little bit cursed, isn't it? Um, if you stand here, by the way, that back, the one at the back won't hit you. This is, this is the spot, so you can do your little welcome gesture or whatever. He will, though. But yeah. I've, uh, I've practiced. I know their ranges pretty well. But yeah, um... Poor guys. Didn't really have a choice, though. Had to be done. This, this is the part where I'd go fight Soul of Cinder. But... Um, I don't know. Because there's some stuff with Yuria. I'd like to get a dialogue about her sister. But uh, that requires beating her. Being freed. Don't do that. That's a trap. So giving the Umbral Ash is only worth it if you didn't buy Orbex shit and you killed him um, because Yuria asked. Um, so we can buy the clandestine coat, regardless. In fact, let's just, let's just prove a point. So people don't think it's due to, like, turning anything in. Uh -huh. So we go to the armor. Oh, Cirrus is set, which I'll get on my own accord. A tire of the night from the Sunless Realms, known for their resistance to both magic and the dark. Formed of a silk veil and a silver headband. Sunless knights serve the nameless moon. And perhaps it is for this reason that the retire casts a feminine, feminine silhouette. Yeah. Weird how um, that's formatted differently. Oh well. Kind of fitting. There we go. Traditional coat of the Vinheim Dragon School. Normally a deep blue color. This black variation is a sign of a sorcerer engaged in surreptitious work. A word from, Seth, from software fucking love. These were covert agents who excelled at manipulating sound. Ashen one. So I'm pretty sure if you summon him, Orbex got the, um... Well, he's wearing the Dragon Crest ring. I think he has a visual effect, unlike us. Uh, more akin to DS1. I don't know if there's effect in 2. I've never actually bothered getting Slime Room Dragon Crest ring in it. But yeah, um, really, really fucking cool coat. Welcome. Sorry, didn't mean to talk to you. It's just that without the robe. Kind of annoying we couldn't just shed the robe in that regard. But yeah, um, gives more, more of a skirt for female um, characters. But still, looks really rad on dudes too. Pretty cool. Uh, there's for your fucking anime waifus. Uh, if you watched the Lothric Castle episode, you saw me wearing Freed's, um, Freed's robe, and it looks really fucking cool ah, for casters. Our lord and rightful liege. Speak freely, thy lordship. I am at thy beck and call. You're nodding a lot. Tell of Orbeck's death. Ah, I see Orbeck's claim is proven false. As it should be, our right and deserving Lord of Hollows. It is a Londor treasure befitting of a true Lord. Lord of Hollows, may the dark sigil guide thy way. Oh Lord, I when the other car oh, be safe, O oh Lord and Liege. I prithee rest the flame from its mantle. So, speaking of Demon Souls references, Morian Blade. Same thing you can make from Soul, Soul of the Storm King. A little different looking though, by a tiny bit. A twisted sword resembling the towers of Londor's Sable Church. Eight branching blades and thorns induce bleeding. Yeah, I read that weirdly, but yes, that makes sense. The church's blessing makes this weapon revel in the agony of its owner. Heavy losses of HP boost attack, a curse most befitting its deformed appearance. 
Stance weapon art. Yeah, as a sword, it's not incredibly good. Does have bleed, which is pretty cool. Um, it's heavier than the standard long sword. It's probably weaker too, actually. But it gives you hyper mode like the red tear stone, which is pretty handy. But yeah, it's got the right move set. I'd like to use this for like a proper bleed build, but it's probably not the best. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to end it for today. I got some stuff to buy. Um, main reason I'm not going to go beat Soul of Cinder right now involves Yuria. Supposedly, you can beat Soul of Cinder without her and she'll hang around. Um, the only problem is I don't want to beat Soul of Cinder now and have her fuck off. Um, because that means I miss out on her armor set and her sword. It's a case of you've got to beat the boss with her to get it or you're going to have to kill her. And I don't want to kill her before we, um, you know, get some dialogue from killing Freed. So I'll work that out in the next couple of days. But in the meantime, thanks for coming along. Cheers. Um, and yeah. This is the part where I edit in like a cool or a dumb outro, so. Or I don't. So bye, I guess.